Hey, so two months ago I made a video called Coding a Virus in Golang, and that video has now gone like completely viral, like there was about 510 views on that, and another v video that I made, which is like the first video, but you know, more dangerous, and it got 269 views. So today I've decided to make yet another coding virus, but instead of using the Go language, I'm going to be using Python. Now, before I actually start the video, this virus is going to be a lot less deadly and dangerous, and it's just going to be a lot more annoying. It's going to take user, like, it's going to basically take your cursor and move it away from where you're working, and it's going to, uh, you know, start typing random stuff on your keyboard, right? Now, the reason why I'm not making a very dangerous virus is because, uh, well, first of all, it's not very ethical. Second of all, this is a relatively new channel. I don't want it to get banned immediately or get demonetized for that sake. So that's why I'm going to steer away from dangerous stuff and move on to stuff that's like sort of funny and not too harmful. All right, so the first thing you're going to want to do is just go ahead and open up a Python file uh, and just call it like main.py or whatever. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is just go ahead and install this Python package. So this Python package is called pyautogui. And what it does is it basically helps you access the keyboard and your mouse. So to do this, just type pip3 pi, uh, install pi, uh, pi uh, auto GUI. Okay, now that that's done, and I've already installed it, right? So I'm not going to do that again. All right, so first thing I want to do is just go ahead and import pi auto GUI. Pi auto GUI. All right, the next thing you're going to want to go ahead and install is time. So just import time. All right, now the next thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and run a while loop. This while loop is just going to keep on running, and it's just going to have the virus constantly running. The first thing we're going to want to do is just go ahead and take the cursor and move it to the coordinate, to a new coordinates. So to do this, just go pi auto GUI, pi auto GUI dot move to and it's going to move to the coordinates 200 comma 100. All right, and the duration, as in how long it'll take to get there, is just going to be a 0 0.5 seconds. The next thing I'm going to do is just go ahead and wait for five seconds. So that's just going to be time.sleep. All right, and I'm going to sleep for five seconds. Then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and just go pi auto GUI, pi auto GUI, dot press. I'm going to go ahead and press the A button. All right, now to run this, I'm going to, okay. So to run this, oh yeah, so now you're just going to want to go ahead and run this. All right, uh, so unfortunately the key itself goes onto a, a different screen, but as you can see, it's still typed A. So the, the virus still works, so I guess you're just going to have to take my word for it. There's not really much I can do there. But as you can see, the yeah, so see it's just constantly typing A every five seconds. And as you can see, the, the cursor moves on to the main screen. All right, so that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Have a nice day.